Hey, welcome back everyone. Fuller here, video two of my three-part videos on sound attenuation spatialization. In this video, I wanna talk about occlusion. Occlusion is something I avoided for the longest time until I did some research and realized what it was. What occlusion is, is basically I'm talking to you and then all of a sudden I do this and now you can't see me. You can still hear me a little bit, but it sounds different because I'm occluded by this. So occlusion is a really important thing, especially in video games, and let me show you an example. Right now we are on our attenuation um, sound source. Let me just show you what happens when I drop this box. Absolutely nothing happens to the fire sound. Sounds fake. Not convincing, not realistic at all. What occlusion is gonna do is it's gonna change that uh, frequency of that fire sound when that box drops in front of it, it's gonna cut off a lot of the high ends to simulate what it would actually sound like, like in real life if that really happened. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go uh, over here. I've set up this uh, sound attenuation um, uh, preset and uh, I did that in my last video. You can go watch that, how to do that, but you basically just right click sound attenuation and then I'm gonna double click in here. I don't have the volume, I do have the volume attenuated, but let me unclick this for a second, and then let me keep spatialization. Now if you go down here, attenuation occlusion, we're gonna check this. We're gonna set the low pass filter for about 750, which is most of the high ends, and we're gonna keep the volume attenuation at one, and uh, the 0.6 interpolation time is how long it takes for that filter to kick in. And let me show you what a difference that this makes. Uh, with the sound. So, so what we want to do is we want to select a fire sound, which is right here, and then this is really important because if you don't do this, you're not going to hear anything. We're going to go down here under our attenuation settings and we're going to select the one we just made, fire occlusion. So now check this bad boy out. So we're right here, right? Fire. Now watch this. Oh my gosh. That is so satisfying. So this iron box is occluding the sound wherever you see it. Now, we see the fire because I put a fire right where the sound was, but what Unreal is really responding to is that fire sound. Let's watch it again. So now you hear all that low pass filter kick in, so 750 and above is gone. That sounds very realistic. And here's what's cool, watch this. Let's open the box, let's walk inside and now let's pull the box down. Now you're inside with the fire, so the occlusion is not happening. How cool is that? So that's very realistic. One more time. Boom. Very, very super cool. And what else is cool about this is it still spatializes, so you can walk around and you don't hear any, you only hear the low pass, right? And then open it back up. Them. Super cool. Now you can go in here and you can play around with the filter. Let's put this at like 200. That's going to be super extreme. That cut out everything above 200. Um, I like it right around 750. Seems more realistic. You can totally play around with that as need be. Now let's add back the volume attenuation as well. Spatialization is already on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hear it attenuated as we get closer then we can occlude it super realistic and when we unocclude it the volume is still low and we can even occlude it from here super super duper incredible so anyways it's a real simple concept but if you've never used it before it's scary it's easy to skip over occlusion and eh. so you can see this is really powerful especially uh, in the world of gaming where you have objects and rooms and stuff that you're going in so it's just a really great feature and I hope that you use it the next time you're doing some sound design anyways hope this video helped in our next video our three-part uh, video the third video I'm gonna talk about focus so check out that video and we'll see you in the next one